gave us a time. Nothing was easy. completely different from what it is now. There were no paved roads. There were no houses like we had today. There were no markets to go and buy stuff. Everything was just big. Lonely. my father when things will change when would we have more easy way of living and then he said never my son the world is tough and hard to bear and they will always be like this. I believe my father. Yes I did. He seems to know everything. He seems to know every single corner of the place we are living. He knew how to go around hunting. He knew how to go around fishing. He knew how to search for the right fruits, the right herbs, the right roots, the right leaves for us to eat. Mother seems not know anything. She was just just following my dad everywhere he gone and my dad's words were our final words ever no one would dare to defy him go against his will or his desires we were many many kids my mother had about 12 on her own and we had an aunt that lives next door and I don't understand how but dad used to go and sleep there also sometimes and she also had about 12 I didn't understand properly these arrangements, but that's the way it was. And my father was everything that you have got to supply us and to feed us. Mum and aunt always got along very well. They always worked together to please my dad. 
I was so proud of him. So proud of him. Sometime I remember I asked my dad what year was that? I want to know. Because I knew the sun would come and go. So it would have days and nights. How he when to see it and how he knew when to go with hunting, I was very curious about. How he knew how to go to find the right fruits on the trees. And I asked him once, and he said that I was asking too many questions for my age. I didn't understand this. I was just curious. And I remember my oldest brothers used to go with him. And they used to have long chats. So I want to be like that with him. Even I was a little younger than the other ones. But some, something in my head was different. I had some ideas. And I want to show that my ideas but he always said that I was too small and too young to understand what I was talking about. It was not possible to do what I wanted to do. And that we should rely on the animals, animals that had got to help us to carry things around. But I had one idea. And I was thinking to myself every night, when looking at the stars at night, wondering how I would develop the ideas I had in my head. As my father didn't want me to talk about it, what I did was to dream about, to plan, and to think about my ideas. And then when I grow up like my brothers, I would do it and show my dad my ideas. I knew it would be very difficult for me to do everything that was in my head. But I would, I would search for all the tools I need to build what I was planning. I knew I would make it a good one. Mm. I had all my plans. And suddenly, one day, I decided to make a little desi design of what I was in my head. Then, I went to that rock that you have got about a mile from my house. Yes, from our our a place where you live in, I, I went to that rock because the rock is white and it's very soft. So I decided to draw on the rock what I was planning to do. And then I decided to, I decided to gather everything that was supposed to have in order to do it. So I said, when I got older, I would have everything in hand for me to build my idea. So that's what I did. I don't know how old I was then, because on those days, you didn't used to count our, our days and years, because you did have a lot of knowledge about it. I knew my father will, uh, he will scratch some things like that on the trees and on the rocks so you know what day it was the best one so when you come to the same time again you know everything so I decided to use the same the same structure yes so here I went I found a cave a hiding cave that I managed to found and then I started gathering everything that I told 
I you need to build my creation. First, I had to know how I would gather in everything and how I would make it. Especially because I didn't know how to make something round from the stones or from a tree. So, also, how old I cut a big trunk to make what I was planning to do. I would have to have help, but if I say anything to my brothers, they would tell my dad, and my dad would say that I'm getting crazy, and then he would put me in that room, so for me to come down, and I knew I was not crazy, I knew, so what I did was I started to gather this small thing that I knew I would need to and then I said I'm gonna leave the bigger things when I'm getting older because then I'll be bigger and strong and I'll be able to cut everything that I'm planning to and then I designed it on that rock inside the cave but the cave was dark also so I would I, I, I would have to to find some way of writing it inside so I would be able to work inside there day and night when I go older. So I managed to gather some materials from the, the, from the nest of the, the birds. You know the birds leave loads of, of, of feathers inside, yes? So I gather loads, loads, loads of feathers and then I put them around a, um, um, a stick, yes, a bunch, and I make something very big like this, yes. And then also I, I took some, some um, um, cotton, you know the cotton from the trees? I managed to cut a lot of cotton, yes, and then I made a big, big bow of cotton, and I stick it on the on the on the branch also, a long branch, yes, and then I I did loads of with feathers and with wood with uh, um, the cotton because I didn't know what would work better at the end, so I I went also to a place uh, where you had nearby our our house that from the, the ground was coming some some type of liquid. You know, it was very, it smelled not very good. It was very horrible smell. But I thought, okay, I think, because I see my dad once, he, he took a little of this one and threw on the fire and it went like that. I thought, oh my God. With kids love to see them doing it so I went there and gathered also this black stuff you know and I put in containers not containers that you have got you people have got today no it's different ones completely different were made by the the, the seeds the big big uh, fruit you have you had on the on the fields then you dry it and make containers that's where you are eating, cooking, doing everything that you, you have to do. So I, I gathered some of these containers and uh, yeah, this, this, uh, I dried them. I did everything myself because I had lots of time to do it. When I started to have, I was a, about a one meter, you know, one, one, like one size. I was not that big. I was like a tree with about three years old tree yeah so i grow uh, as i grow older and get bigger and bigger i was gathering everything and working out my ideas yes i was so proud of myself and 
but I had some problems sometimes. Do you know why? Because when I started to grow, my dad started to ask me to help them doing everything that they have to do on the on the lands and go and fishing and hunting or for fruits or for animals or food. So I, I start to have less and less time as I grow older to do my own work that I was planning to. And after many, many, many moons, many, many moons, I count about 40 moons, 45 moons, 50 moons, and then I was big enough, I was big enough to build my dream. Yes. But I have to tell you something, I didn't grow very, very tall, I was shorter than everyone else. I don't know why. I didn't go that tall or that I thought I was gonna be strong and taller. No. I didn't go that far. But it was I was big enough to cut a big trunk and then slide the slide slide in. And then I managed to do two big brown things. As I had already gathering everything that I needed, I, it took me about, um, about um, five to six months to do the first part of my dream. It was to put this, these two woods together and a big, a big branch between them so I can roll them. Yes, I can roll them. So I managed that. It was not easy because I had to cut this slowly, slowly and then prepare it around so it can rose when I need it. And then I had to, to, to imagine how I would fit the two sides on the wood, in the, in the brown wood that I did, to make it roll, but the stick, the, the branch between stay still, don't roll together. So the, the, the things, yeah, we roll and roll, but the stick on the needle will be firm. But I managed. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. I I put I, I, I put made holes on the both sides. Okay, I did four holes like this, and then I put one brush here, another one, and then it is stick. But I have to do the two sides. The inside of what well, the, the outside of the inside of this and the inside this and the outside of the other so the the two the two uh, pieces that I did with the the big big trunk wood will not follow come you know one side to the other so I managed that I was so proud of myself I did manage my dad said that it was not possible that I was making it so now I had to do to have the idea how I will fit it on the on the big. I, I did a, a, a big like like big as as I am of a, a, like a, a, a box. But I want to fix this box on top of this thing so I can roll it. So do you know what my idea was? is to do something to carry our stuff when we are doing our our hunting and things so we don't need to care on our shoulders or don't need to use the 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 animals to do it for us so we can put an animal on that but i can i can use my hands to pull it then you would bring lots of things you understand i was having this idea and i knew it 
I would manage that. So I had to imagine how I would fit this this big, big uh, um, container that I did, this big box, on top of this thing that I made to roll it. Yeah. And then I was thinking how I would pull it also. So I had to do, I had to put two branches of the trees by the sides and another one in front and I have do you know how I did it to fit together? I used lots of these branches like the eye. Yeah, I I I did manage to to um, work on them, yes. I garden a lot and then I dry it on the sun to make it very strong so I can I can uh, use it to to tie them together. Okay? It was another challenge. <laughs> but I managed it because how I would fit the two together. So what I did is I had to make a hole on because I have to do like this, yeah? Like this. Like this, yes. So I can pull from here and fix these two sides on the on the box, yeah. So I had to I had to to find a way of of sticking them together. So that's where I use this this uh, cords, the branch cords to fit together. But then I had to decide how I would do. So I had to make a, a hole here and a hole here and put them together and tie them together. That's the way I did. Okay, so far so good. But then it was past already another five months. <laughs> ah, I spent about 12 months to build it but it was my creation and I can't tell you how proud I was when I managed this and then when I took it out of that hiding cave that I managed to find and roll it it was not easy to roll it. Do you know why? Because we didn't have any pavement roads there. Just you know the little the little uh, uh, paths that you have to follow. So I was there dragging it and rolling it, dragging it with my hands. <laughs> it took many hours, half a day for me to get from the cave to the place. To the to the to the little village that we were living, but I'm gonna tell you something. When I come to the to the place, it is like um, I'm gonna describe to you. You live in a. It was like a, 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 a square. But it was not a square, around, around the square, okay? And all the, the little houses were around the square, okay? So you live like a, a community, everything was running on the middle, and all the houses were around in a circle, okay? And our houses was in, in, in a circle also, okay? You didn't have square stuff in those days. It was round, do you know why? Because it was easy for the wind to, to go through without, without uh, um, damaging our places to live. So it was round. So the wind would do like this, not boom, you know? So yes, so we live in, in a round square, okay? Everyone living around. So when I managed to get in the middle and I called my dad out and I said, Daddy, this is what I did. It was my dream and you said that was not possible. And I managed to do it for you, Daddy. So you can go to the fields and gather more for us to eat and make it easy to carry. Because one of us will push, two of us will push 
and then you rest and then another one you push would be easy for us to carry everything my dad oh my dad opened his eyes like this and he said son are you right son are you right son and he gave me a big hug that he never never gave me a hug before that was the first time he came to me and embraced me and he was so proud of me and everyone came to see all my brothers sisters my aunts mothers and all the other other cousins and everyone around came to see and my 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 other other uh, aunties and came to see what I have done and everyone wants to know how I did and how I managed to keep secret so long with something so precious so I was so proud of myself because I managed to make one of my dreams come true but then I decided to do another one because I had more ideas and you know what the other idea was? I want to go dragging everything that you have got to exchange for other things from other villages yes I told my dad what I want to do and he looked at me and said son it's too dangerous there is a lot of dangers in the, on the roads you can go around to the other village dragging this all the people will come and steal everything from you and I said daddy I'm gonna do it doesn't matter what you're gonna say to me you see you told me that was not possible and I managed now you are having so much things is better for everyone you have more food for everyone you have more things to to, to gather and put inside and drag to the village I know I'm right and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one yes and I'm gonna go to the other village and you can gather more stuff and then you can you can exchange with them what you haven't got they have got so we're gonna exchange and that's what I did I did another one but then now I had help because you know brothers believed on me now so I had more help to do and then it was quicker we got more things and then I had another idea why not to do and exchange our child for all the stuff that we needed like materials you know for my my mom and my aunties to do different uh, clothes for us because you used to have one clothes and then you have to you know wash it and dry it and wear them again so if you have more material for other villages so you can have another pair of clothes it would be better so that's why I did me and my brothers my brothers now believe on me so we start to trade in from one village to another village from one village to another village I didn't know that the world was that big I thought we were just a small place and then when I start to move around and trading around I discover how big it was we were all like each other we are all like each other you had eyes like this all of us And the villages were 
not that far, but it was about two days walking to go and two days walking to come back. But I was very happy doing it. I was not very sad because I managed to know a lot of people. But now, if you ask me, did you marry? No, I didn't have time. I didn't have time for thinking about married and had kids. No, I didn't. I didn't want to have the life of daddy. I want to be traveling around. I like trading. So that's what I did. I was a little man with the eyes like this. <laughs> And was I was a trader. I was born a trader. And that's what I did the whole life. And one time, many, many, many moons after my dad died, yeah, my dad and mom, mother died, and then I was free to go around and trade more more villages so I did a big a chart not that big so I can pull it because I was not very big man and as I get older I was smaller <laughs> so I, I don't know how many moons I had because I had many 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 but One day, I was traveling with my chart full of stuff. I was trading now many things. I was trading food, fish, meat, material for clothes, hats, shoes, sandals. Yes, I was doing a lot of things and I had a lot of things on my on my chart on the, this time the chart was my size also if I was laying on the floor it would be my size and I normally slept underneath my chart because it was high enough for me to lay underneath and sleep there so if it was raining I would be protected One day, I went from a, one village to another, and it was very, very far away. And I didn't manage to get to the other village. My heart stopped beating. I was under my chart sleeping and I didn't wake up. I remember being there. I sat at by the side of my chart and I was trying to understand what's going on, what happened to me because I was looking at my body lying underneath the chart but I was looking at myself outside also and I stayed there for many, many months until another trader that followed my ideas was doing the same rule found my chart and my bones and the middle child. He buried me my my bones in the plate and that's where I decided to go. I was free and happy.
because I knew I did my job. I didn't have any children, but I born one new idea. I born an easy way for people to carry things around. I born the first chart on my place. That's my story. That's this story of me. My name there, Yang Yu. Yang Yu. Yang Yu was my name there. Telling you this. Never give up your dreams. Nothing is impossible. When I was born on that life, many thousands, many thousands years ago. Five, six thousand years ago. Nothing was there. Nothing. No roads. No houses. Just trees. Nature. Trees. Nature. We had to create everything, and I did my share. Never give up your dreams. There is much more to come, and that is your job to be creative and create. So, do it. Created. Build. Have ideas. Make them come true. Manifest the new. There is a lot to be created. There is a lot to be created. You have today more than you had then. No excuses for you. The earth is not going to end. What do you want to have in thousand years from now? That's the way I told when I was in that place about five thousand years ago. What I want my people to have in many moons ahead, and I created it. Imagine what the people will need in a thousand years, five hundred years ahead, and build it, create it. That's the job you have to do. Go and do it. Dare to dream and dare to do. Bless you. Thank you.
for this one. Okay. I just channeling something. I don't remember everything I said. Actually, I don't remember many things I said. <laughs> but I'm going to listen to it before I, I download on YouTube. What I'm going to say is um, I was feeling this need and I was feeling a lot of pressure here inside my chest for about two, three days. And uh, I decided to do it today and see what was going to come up. Because I thought this is what um, it was supposed for me to do today. Um, I don't know how people will react with this. But as I, I am a channeler, I decided to do it and um, I hope to be helping people around with my experiences and I hope that is really something good in this channel. I'm gonna listen it before I I download on YouTube, and I hope it was okay. <laughs> okay, as I was finishing, I will say the same thing. God bless you, keep you safe, and bless you. Bye bye. Thank you for listening.